Hey, what's up guys? Catfish came out with a new video. And apparently some lady's gonna be sent to jail for helping out some romance scammer. And I don't know how that happened unless she took like some bad funds in. That's what I'm guessing it's gonna be. But that's just a crazy way. Like, you're a horny elder, right? And you're just waiting for Prince Charming to come through. And friggin' Count Dracula hits your bank account and just gets your ass, man. Bleeds you dry. So I don't know how... She's going to end up here. I kind of feel for her. If she really went to jail for this, that's terrible. But part of you's got to be a little bit smarter than that. So let's check it out. I don't want to spend 11 years in prison. I'll probably, I would die there. I, I wouldn't be able to make it. That's a long ass time. Hi guys, my name is Matthew. And out of desperation, I am reaching out to the teams at Social Catfish my sister has recently oh man she saw this dude and she's like i'm gonna get me a mustache ride baby that's what she was thinking been the victim of a romance scam she's recently been arrested as being part of this whole scam what's up seekers welcome back to another episode of scamfish sponsored by socialcatfish.com what the hell Things are not going well for me. I'm scared to death. I mean, it's a... Oh my god. When you try to help somebody and they're just sitting there like they'd rather believe someone who they've never met. That's what irritates me about these people. Like, come on. You've never met this dude. Why would you take his word over your family's? So... It's a, a felony charge of theft of, a, of, a, of $26,000. It's 11 years in prison plus a, a fine. You know, if you have any insights, any guidance or direction that you could provide us, um, like I say, we're desperate. Oh, Dan, this lady was playing Grand Theft Auto in real life. 26 grand? What the hell, man? They got you good. They saw a lick coming and they knew it. Today's episode is different. Join us as we delve into the story of Janine who fell in love with a man named Rick, who she met on Facebook. However, their love story has taken a troubling twist after Janine allegedly received a $26,000 wire transfer from Rick that would help the two connect in person. Janine is now facing a 10-year prison sentence. This situation highlights the harsh consequences that can follow in the wake of a romance scam. Join us- Man, I- If you ain't got money to give somebody, I don't know why you put yourself out for anyone. You gotta respect yourself a little more than that. So while I feel for her, cause she probably was just like lonely, at the same time, like, you gonna believe everyone that asks you for money or friggin' gift cards? Like, what's up here, lady? As we explore ways to support Janine and shed light on this dark aftermath of deceptive love. You too, love. Babe. Real quick, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your comment and like could help stop someone from being scammed. Yeah, Let's get save into the horny it. elders. I'm from a very small town in Michigan called Grand Haven. I have six children and 11 grandchildren. I Damn. haven't had a relationship. Lady, you were putting in work out here playing Stinky Twinkie. And also, that picture has got to be so damn old. Because she definitely took that like 10 years ago. Or her camera sucks. A beautiful lady. Not very smart if this happened or since my divorce in 1994 that's more like it 84. so i've been alone and raising my children and and working all that time and my ex-husband decided he wanted a younger woman so he um, ended up marrying a friend of mine and they were married for over 20 years i think it's oh, been very no her divorce is older than me at this point, so I don't feel like it should hurt that much, but if they leave you for a younger friend, that's just tough, man. I don't know how you come back from that one. Also, why were you keeping this freaking hussy around if you knew that she was on demon time with your husband? Difficult. I didn't date online at all before I met this man. All of a sudden, he was just there talking hey, to me. Stud. You know, it was maybe every couple of days and then it turned out to be more like every day and well his name is rick alexander he has a great smile he has beautiful eyes he's got mostly gray hair i guess some people would call it salt and pepper 
He has a must. I'd say that's just friggin' salt. Buddy's met his sodium, like. <laughs> Stash. And at times he's had a beard. Usually just jeans and a t shirt type of thing or a polo shirt. Now, my perspective on this relationship Good is. Good lord, buddy, watch the glare. Wow, you need to close the friggin' shades if you're gonna come at us with that friggin' hot. From the beginning, it's been a scam. Well, he just told me that he was in Iraq rebuilding the roads after the war. Oh, what a saint. His wife died several years ago. He doesn't have any children, he said. He was very, always very respectful when he spoke with me. He didn't swear. He didn't belittle me or call me dumb or stupid or anything like that. He was always, you know, very respectful. Okay, so he love-bombed you is what he did. He sat here and I love, I love, I love. And you haven't been loved in quite a while. So I see why you fell for it. But at some point, you can only give so many damn Apple gift cards. Like, come on. What are you thinking? You know, just things like that. He he just made me feel good. He would say my love. I once told him I really liked it when he called me that. We had an what I call an easy relationship. I mean, it was easy to talk to him. In the beginning, easy Rick came scale. off as the perfect guy. He claimed he was trying to leave Iraq soon so they could finally meet in person, but he would need her help. He was set to come home last winter and there was a big snowstorm in Turkey and all of the flights were canceled. Don't you hate them damn snowstorms? Man, me amor de green card. <laughs> He's tried to come home a couple of times and for one reason or another he hasn't. And there have been times he's told me it's dangerous for him to be there. I didn't want a long distance relationship. I wanted someone that was going to be here and be part of my life. So a couple of times I have said, look, I'm done. I, I don't want a long distance relationship. I want somebody that's here that is going to be part of my life. And this is it. We're not, I'm not talking anymore. He just wants to, according to Rick, he just wants to be together. He told me he loved me. The relationship took a turn when Rick began to ask Janine for money to get home. How long did that take? One week? Two weeks? Because I feel like it happened pretty soon after I love you. The first time he asked me for money was he needed money so he could buy a, a phone card type thing so he could call me. I sent him an Apple card. Of course, oh, he Christ. said thank you, and I and he used it to call me. The second time he asked me for money was in order to try to pay for a ticket to come home you know he knew i was on social security and and that i only got paid once a month so oh buddy you better told that sucker he's flying spirit because if you oh my god why i'm not sending somebody money for a plane ticket i don't give a damn how hot and heavy i am i ain't gonna do it nope not happening we ain't doing no flyouts. um you know i couldn't always send a lot of money and it was never enough for a ticket Anywhere from a hundred to maybe four or five hundred at a time. Shit, for that kind of money, Buddy could probably ship himself in a cardboard box, but he ain't getting on no plane. The government said that they had him on a list and they were going to get him a ticket, but then they told him he needed to have so much cash in hand so when he got on the plane and got to America, he would have money. Maybe one month I'd send him two or three hundred dollars, and then the next month I'd send him some more so that he would have the money that they required of him. I may have sent him... 7K? And uh, he should have been on a damn plane by that point. That's a lot of money. I thought he was going to have to ship himself, but you definitely sent him enough for him to get there. And if he's on some kind of list, I need to see that thing, because he's probably on the offender list, you know what I'm saying? Over the two-year period, gosh, maybe six or $7,000 of my own money. Little did Janine know what Rick was going to ask her to do would land her in trouble with the law. At one point, he sent me $26,000. Woo! And he said that was to help me pay the bills that I had because I sent him money. And he asked me to, to you know, use some of it to pay my bills and then send the rest of it to a person in Turkey. Of and the course. Yeah, I just need to send you money so you can send me some back, and nothing about that sets off a red flag. Not at all. We're good here. 
that person in Turkey would get them tickets to come home. She was pulled over by a state trooper for having, I think it was a, a broken tail light. And he ran her place, ran her ID, and found out there was a warrant for her arrest. She knew nothing about that. Well, immediately they arrested her, impounded her car. They extradited her from Michigan to Maryland, where she remained carcerated. No, they sent her to my state? Oh, shit. We didn't want her, man. Somebody out here will scam her real quick. You go to Baltimore, they'll get you anywhere. Every corner, somebody's looking to scam you in Maryland. Traded for several weeks and then was extradited back to Michigan. Someone had given me $26,000 to pay for airplane parts to send to Maryland to this woman. I've never talked to a woman about airplane parts. I don't know anything about airplane parts. So she is filing has filed charges against me for stealing this money from her. And Wait, okay. So a, a lady in Maryland thought she was going to get airplane parts so she could fly out to Turkey and pick this guy up too? Sounds like both of your ass got scammed here. And I, again, I don't know who she is. It's no one I've ever talked to. But she said that I took the money that she sent me and didn't send her the airplane parts. I didn't receive any money from her. It came from Rick. I didn't keep a dime of it. I sent it all to Turkey. You she was an unwitting participant in this whole thing. Buddy, she didn't accept Claire. any money. She didn't pocket any money for herself. She was duped into this. But she's looking at real jail time. And again, at her age and her health condition, she will not do well in prison. <sighs> Things are not going well for me. I'm scared to death. I mean, it's a it's a, a felony charge of theft of a, of, a, of $26,000. It's 11 years in prison plus a, a fine. I don't want to... Your hopeless romantic side got the worst of you. You thought this guy was going to be your Prince Charming, like I said earlier. But not all things that shine are friggin' gold. If a guy comes to you with something that sounds too good to be true, they're going to send you twenty six grand. It's probably too freaking good to be true. I'm going to spend 11 years in prison. I'll probably, I would die there. I, I wouldn't be able to make it. So I'm scared to death. It makes me sick to my stomach every time I think about it. I don't want to see my sister spend the, the last uh, few years of her life um, in prison. And, uh, you know, if she goes to prison, uh, she's not going to last long, given her condition. And it's ruined my life. I mean, my children aren't speaking to me hmm. because of it. And, um, you know, it's a very difficult thing. After receiving Matthew's email about his sister being in trouble, we hopped on a video call with her to get an idea of what we could help her with. After Bruh, face But, like, what can you do here? Because blood's thicker than water, right? So you want to believe family all the time, but I can tell you something that's thicker than blood, and you never step in between two people that are trying to play. You know what I'm saying? Seeing jail time, we thought for sure she knew that this Rick guy was scamming her hop on with you because your brother reached out to us and just kind of see where your head's at as far as this guy you've met online. Uh, I know you've been through so much and I want to hear more and just see where we can take this. Okay. Do you still believe you're talking to this, to the real man? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I'm hoping so, but I don't really know. You should have 26,000 reasons to say, no, this is not who I'm talking to. What makes you feel like you could be talking to him? He just makes me feel good. He he tells me he loves me. I've seen his wee-wee. He wee -wee. seems to want to take care of me. Do you love him? Uh, I hate to admit it, but yes, I do. We've been talking for almost two years, so, you know, there's a lot of water under the bridge. After Babe, you're drowning in that damn water. 11 years in jail you're facing at your age, and you've probably been like a model citizen your whole life, right? I don't think she's probably ever been in trouble. This naivety is insane, though, to fall for. Because Rick saw you as a lick, and he got you good. Everything you've been through, though, right? You still want to hold on to this guy. More than that. Well, kind of, yeah. Right now, he's saying that he's coming home. I don't know if he actually will, but that's what he tells me. 
and he tells me that he loves me and that he'll take care of me and that everything's going to be all right. And I want to believe him. I really do. Now, can you tell me what exactly is he saying about the arrest and your charges? All right. So for 26 grand, this woman could have the whole cast of Magic Mike, I'm pretty sure. Like, there's guys out here that would do... <laughs> uh, I'm saying, I'm just saying, okay? She could find somebody else. A nice guy that'll take her home, paddle the pink canoe, do whatever you want for that kind of money. He's saying that they're... That what they're saying is that he had nothing to do with it. But he is saying that he'll be home to go to Maryland with me and get Stay me out, out. of it. Janine's brother Matthew originally reached out to us. He had no idea she was still communicating with Rick. We then hopped on a call with him to let him know. We spoke to your sister. Not only is she still communicating with him, but she also believes that he's real. It's a little insane. We need to act fast as possible. It's, it, absolutely. We'll send a list of things that we're going to need, and then you know we can start looking into this ASAP. Fantastic. Again, I appreciate I mean, is it insane? Yes. But it's very optimistic of her, okay? It, after you've been burnt once, like, fool me once, you know, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. She's just begging for it at this point. Like, you're an easy target. They know they can get money out of you, so they're not going to stop. It's both so much, the whole team. We had Matthew pull as much information as we could from Janine. Then we started to look into things. We needed to prove to her that this guy was a complete scam. But as we researched... Janine disappeared. She wasn't answering our phone calls, emails, or texts. Even Matthew tried to reach out to her and he couldn't get a hold of her. If you've made it this far, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. We appreciate you so much. We waited a week and didn't hear anything back from Janine. Oh, we shit. decided to contact Matthew and try to catch up and figure out what was going on. Don't you think that she probably just felt embarrassed? She's like, hey, this is going to go out to everybody now. I don't want that level of attention. Like, I realize I was stupid. Or do you think, like, he got in her ear and he was like, hey, these people are trying to scam you. I'm real. Because, I don't, she's so gullible, to be honest, that I feel like that guy could convince her of that. We've been trying to contact Janine for a while now, and she's just not getting back in touch with us. Likewise, um, I've reached out to her on a number of occasions. I did get a cryptic message from her yesterday, uh, but that's the first one I've received in a week. But um, yeah, I apologize that it's it's been so difficult. She sent you a cryptic message. What, what do you mean? Like, how so? Well, she mentioned that she's in the shelter, and then she sent me uh, another message that she misses the cops. I, I don't know. Oh, don't worry about that because they won't miss you for long because they're probably looking for you currently. Especially if you're you're about to get charged. Like, I don't think she'll do 11 years, right? Especially first offense. She might have to do like a couple weeks, months, something like that. But I don't think they're going to put her in jail. She'll probably get probation before judgment, something like that. But she's definitely riding the edge right there. Rick got her good what she meant by that uh that's what concerned me that maybe she was in jail again has not been checking her email or her messenger and wasn't aware that we had an appointment scheduled for last week and you know i'm i'm frustrated by the whole thing um there are a bunch of people who are trying to help her and she just doesn't seem to want to help herself yeah that's a that's a tough situation with the end do you think maybe you'd be able to give her a call absolutely Sure. Do you think she would answer? I can certainly give her a try. Do you want me to do that now? Yeah, let's give her a call. I don't think there's any shot in hell she's going to answer this if she's going on the run and she's claiming she's in the shelter. Because I don't even think she's in the shelter, probably. Unless she gave away enough money that she lost her place. That would suck. Sorry, no luck. That's okay, I really appreciate you trying. We actually have some information we wanted to go over with her. What we can do is we can attach a report, send it to you, and then maybe you can go over these things with her. I mean, let's just get into the searches we ran, right? 
I want to start off with the passport and I'm also curious, do you know the story behind the reason? Bro, look at that. His name font's not even the same as on the bottom. That's how you know that that's a jank ass passport. Like that's so fake. It looks fake as hell. How do you fall for that? Why Rick would send this to her? My understanding is that she was going to book tickets for him. And so she needed his passport to do that. Spirit. Okay. So we found an exact match for this passport. This image matches a sample passport. We found it on a Polish passport uh, website that sells these passports. It's a questionable website, <laughs> but everything in the image matches 100%. The numbers, everything matches. The only thing that, that is different or has been changed is the image and the name. The Look at that. Did you see how different the fonts are? Like, man, these people do really good job researching this stuff. And their website's probably such a good tool to use if you even think you're being scammed. But it's just sad that people fall for it. Like, how many times is this going to happen? Like, it should be very, like, well known that this is a thing that happens to people that are looking for love online. Next thing we want to look at is, you know, the image of Rick. We found several profiles on social media uh, with different names, same image, and we finally found his identity and his real name is Carlos. And he's a blogger, he's a social media content creator. Something else that we had found was that he does indeed have a, a boyfriend. Oh shit, Falcon Bear is a bear. Look at all that hair, man. I'm low-key jealous. Look at this. All I got. This little bit right here. Damn. Buddy's playing for the other team, too. He was not about to play tiddlywinks with you. So you were very... <laughs> you weren't going to get that mustache ride. So he is currently in a relationship. Okay. Very interesting. And we found many fake profiles of him all over the internet. He's a known face when it comes to romance scams. Uh, this usually... guy? When you find a guy that, that's been used once, he's been used 30 to 100 to sometimes thousands of times. So uh, your sister is not the only person being scammed by his fake profiles. He's just a regular guy with a with a normal life. Um, he lives overseas and, you know, he just happens to be a good looking, handsome guy that, that's used in scams. Well, again, though, does this guy rev your guy's engines? Because, I mean, he did for her. But he also got all their damn plane parts, to be all, to be honest. And I'm not, not surprised, um, but it is comforting, I guess, to know um, the truth. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate the efforts that you guys have put in, uh, you know, for this. It was Good our work. pleasure. We, we want to help you out any way we can, as well as Janine. You know, um, obviously, this is ongoing. So if she decides to reach out or she has some other information she would like to share, we're here for her. Well, thank you for saying that. I hoped you uh, would feel that way. She's calling. Should I put her on? Absolutely. Uh-oh. Janine? Yeah. Hi. Um, I'm on a call with Hi, Drew and Bree. I feel like what they should do once they realize they're getting scammed is order them a male stripper or a puppy. Something to give attention and love to. The male strippers might give you a little more if you pay enough. Uh, we're just Drew and Bree from Social Catfish. We're just going over some of the information they found. Oh, okay. Um, it's really interesting I'm stuff. Um, a I'm sorry? I have a shelter and I have to make a show at 8 o'clock. Uh, yes, I can. Um, they would love to be able to speak with you. Last week they tried a number of times to reach you through uh, email and, and I guess other means. I mean, can you blame her though? This is an embarrassing experience right here and the whole world's about to know that this happened to you and you're facing charges. I feel like the courts have almost got to go lenient on her here because she got duped just as much as anyone else. She's probably still going to owe that money back. But she's got to, I mean, there's got to be a level of shame that comes with being tricked this bad. Is there any way that you're in the shelter? 
and that makes it difficult for you. Okay. Are you able to leave the shelter during the day, and and uh, are you able to go somewhere where you could speak with them? Well, even on a you know a park bench or someplace, um, you know, yeah. So, well, they're they're more than happy to re-engage. The again, they found some really interesting information. It's limited. I feel like everyone's trying to help her, but she has to have the realization like, hey, I just got got. And once she realizes that, it'll be much better for her. But you just gotta write it off as a loss. Cause me, I personally think she's probably still talking to this guy. Because she just likes the attention. The attention's what she's looking for, right? And you could get that from any guy on the internet. But once they start asking you for friggin' gift cards and this and that, time to get out of there. Uh, ...because they weren't able to get more information from you, uh, which they hope to do last week. Um, but, um, you know, again, if you can make the time to speak with them, they're more than happy to pursue this thing and gather additional information. Okay, well, why don't you call me back about 8.30, my time, well, 8.30, your time too, I guess, um, and let me know what they had to say. Perfect, perfect. I, I really think that would be uh, yep. beneficial for you. Hey, wait, is she still in Maryland? Because I know a great place she can get plane parts from. Real cheap too. Okay, very good. All right, well, I'll follow up with you. Thanks. Bye-bye. Hello. Hi, Janine. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. It's Bree. How are you? Good. I'm hanging in there. I um, I sent over your in-depth report to your email. Okay. Have you found anything out? Anything good? <laughs> I mean, we found the real yeah, man. We in found out Rick doesn't like women, so you're barking all the way up the wrong tree, sweetheart. The images, you were lied to. Okay. And his story is not real. Okay, no. well, right now my life is so up in the air. I'm homeless right now. I'm living in a shelter. So, um, you know, I don't even know which way is up right now. I'm sorry. But Hang in there. I'm trying. I really am. <sighs> So, thank you so much for all your help. Absolutely. Let us know if you need anything. I will. Thank you so much, Bree. You have a good She needs a copy of Magic Mike so this don't happen again. Good day. Bye-bye. You too. Okay. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Remember, all of our new videos go out every Wednesday. So, all right. That's terrible. Go go check out the good people over at Catfished. I love their videos. They're pretty extensive and they definitely are trying to help people. So I do really love their videos. They're great. But this poor woman just was so optimistic and so just looking to be loved that she would have fell for anything, to be honest. These guys come in here and they play on your loneliness. They play on your loss. They'll play on anything. They have no soul. They don't care about you. As much as I joke about wanting to take your money and stuff like that, I would never do something like that. These people will take your damn shoes and let you walk 10 miles on a gravel road. Like, they don't care. They don't have one damn to give about you. So, I don't Just start loving yourself a little more and stop worrying about looking for this outside love from some guy that you've never met on the internet. You can meet a nice local guy somewhere, shit, in Maryland... You just go to the bingo hall. You'll find some old man that's trying to get it in somewhere. But there's plenty of them out there, I'm pretty sure. But, uh, alright. Sorry about that, Janine. It's terrible this happened to you. Better luck next time. Don't do this again. Alright, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Peace.